I'm going back to videoing on my phone because I thought I had it figured out and I didn't. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so we have four chords. The first one is the A minor, which is like the F, you know, but you just take the pointer finger off. It's just that top finger. And I'm looking to see if Shaylin comes in or anybody else. <clears throat> Excuse me, pollen. Now the D7 is just like a D chord, but it doesn't have that middle finger. So it's just these two. You can do it any fingering you want, whatever is most comfortable. And then of course the F. And then a G. This is the G as opposed to the G7, the G. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, and the chords move kind of slow, something like this. Ain't no mountain high about like that and then the G okay now we're gonna do the verse and then I'll stop and talk to you about the chorus okay so let's start at the beginning the white the the, the top three lines started with number one ain't no mountain ready a minor ain't no mountain high feel so far everybody good good <clears throat> okay so in the chorus it's an a minor now the second block instead of having one chord it has two so that means they move quickly so the first block is the a minor ain't no mountain second block sounds like this G a minor do you see what we're doing we play a G then quickly back to the a minor Okay, now the third block is just an A minor, ain't no valley. Then we do the G to A minor again. G, A minor. And again, ain't no river wide enough. Then the last two measures are just D7 and an F. So let's do that chorus starting on the ain't no mountain high enough. The pink part. One, two, ready, and ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, last line, ain't no river wide enough, D7, to keep me from getting to you, babe. Does that make sense? Is that good? How are you um, doing with moving back and forth from the G to the A minor? Is it okay? Sort of? It's okay? I think at least you're not moving to that G fast. The G is harder than the A minor. So it's good, I think, that you can jump off of that into just a one finger chord. Um, congrats on your new ukulele, Alicia. We have matching. <laughs> it's so pretty. And it, I know it just sounds so good. Okay, so let's start with that chorus, the, <coughs> excuse me, pink part again. I've been talking all day, and I have not had to cough, like, the whole day, and all of a sudden the pollen is getting to me. <clears throat> like the witching hour. A minor, one, two, ready, the pink part. Ain't no mountain high. go back to verse 2 and verse 2 is shorter than verse 1 so instead of to the very top we're going to that second line where it says 2 right there okay where there's two lines of words the word is remember 
to ready and the day I set you free I told you you could always count on me A minor the day on I made a vow I'll be there when you want me some way somehow here's the chorus it's baby there G and the A minor, that's not the problem. The problem is my timing is okay. way so awkward and I don't know. <laughs> okay, good point. It's actually, the rhythm is syncopated, so it comes at a weird place. So this is perfectly, you're, you're exactly right what you're saying. It comes in a weird spot. But what I think is enough. I do it on the nuff. Does that make sense? So I'll go I gotta turn it so I make sure you can see me. Ain't, I start on the ain't no mountain at the beginning of the chorus. Ready and ain't no mountain high enough. Do you see how it comes on that syllable and then it keeps going? Ain't no valley low enough. And one more time. Ain't no river wide enough. Does that help? Good. We could just do it like on the beat, but it kind of feels more natural like that following the words. But if you just think about moving on the word, the second ha half of the word enough. All right, good. Let's try the whole thing through. One, two, ready, and ain't no mountain high. about that good that's a fun one isn't it I like that we can pretend like we're Motown all right so now let's please go to Angel of Montgomery Angel from Montgomery and this is just a review I'm trying to go back you guys we have two more classes in this session let me find Angel of Montgomery where I'm talking to you is that it nope it's too small, y'all. I just cannot see. Nope. But that's the same. That's the right week. Let's see if this is it. Nope. But we are going to do that one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm taking, I need just to get my readers down here. Is it this one? Nope. 
This one? No. This one? Yes. There it is. Sorry. Um, so we have two more weeks. We would normally be finished with the session next week before Masters, but we took off um, Valentine's. So we have next week, and then y'all are going to have to bear with me. We won't meet for a couple weeks. And then we'll just throw in one more random meeting in um, April. And uh, I'm trying to just kind of go back and review stuff. So next week will be a review a lot of songs, and maybe Dwight Yoakam. And then the last week will be a review of probably the rest of them, because I want you to feel good about all of them that you have. And hopefully you're at least... If you're not printing them out, you're making a list of all these songs that, um, so that by the time we finish, you're going to have a whole boatload of songs you can play. Okay, so reviewing Angel from Montgomery. We have three chords. The D, which is the top three strings on the second fret. And we have a G. And we have the A, which was the new one. It's like an F but you pull that pointer finger up one string so your two fingers are only one string away from each other. So an F looks like this, and then the A looks like this. And it moves very slowly. The um, strumming speed, let me move this down just a tad so you can see my, is very slow. I messed that up. Turn that one down. Okay, so it starts with a D. Two, ready, and I am an old woman named after my mother. My old man is another. Here's an A. Child is grown old. Third line. y'all do with that after not having done it for a couple weeks yeah pretty good all right and Alicia for your first time do you feel good about it good that a kind of comes out of the blue sometimes because it stays with the same pattern and then all of a sudden an a so just watch ahead for that yep you've gotten me liking that song um Alicia I mean I knew it sort of before and I love Bonnie Raitt's version of it but um I'd never played it now I really like it Okay, one more to review for today, and that one is good old Johnny Cash. 
Now I'm going to be hunting again, but I did find this one a while ago. Let's see if this is it. Hey, got it. Ring of Fire. Those good three chords, the same three chords that you can play whole. I bet a lot of Dwight Yoakam songs would have C, F, and G. A lot of good country songs. Ooh, maybe we should do some George Strait, too. Oh, we should do some Dolly. Have we not done Dolly yet? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'll try to figure out a Dwight Yoakam and definitely a Dolly. I mean, Jolene, Jolene. Jolene is the one, right? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I think Jolene's going to be easier than nine to five. Yeah. Oh, you did well, suggest that once before. That's right. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. And then there's a, you also could do the duet of Islands in the Stream with uh, Kenny Rogers. That is very good. That one is a good one. I think we're going to stick with Jolene. But back to Johnny yeah. Cash. Good old Johnny Cash. Let's do this one. C chord, F chord, and a G chord. How do you guys feel about those three chords? Good? Okay, now just think about this. Remember the very first day, okay? <laughs> and we just did a C chord, and the first time I got you to move between two chords, you know, we're freaking out, and then three chords, some of you were just like, forget it, and a lot of people didn't even come back. So look at you now. I said C, F, G, like really fast, and you're like, I mean, that's very impressive. You should be very proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. Okay, so C, F, G. Um, love is a burning thing. About like that. That is our tempo. And just like that other song where uh, Angel from Montgomery, how that A pops in, that F, look at that whole first line. It's all C chords except for that F, which is in a, a weird place. It doesn't fall like on a one, it falls on a four. So it's kind of weird. So just watch for the chords. Play along. Nothing, nothing too hard about, I don't think, yeah, that's the only thing that's a, a fast switch. Everything else takes its time. From the beginning, one, two, ready, here's a C. Love is a burning thing, two, three, and it makes a fiery ring. Third line. this time. Here's the second verse. One, two, ready. The taste Everybody's doing good. All right. Hey, uh, Tara. Yes. Can you do like you were, um when you would go like C? Oh, okay. You, yeah, yeah. Did we do that last time? I forgot about that. Not but, with that one, but with another song. But I'm wondering, can you um do the yes the the tapping with it? 
Gotcha. Thank you for that. Good suggestion. All right. So, I just, and oh. I kind of do that anyway while I'm keeping the beat. So you probably see me sort of tapping here. So what she's saying is, I don't remember if everybody was here on that day, but sometimes whenever you strum in between, you can kind of tap and it, you can tap anywhere you want on the strings and stop it or just make a tap. But if you just between the strums, like strum, tap, strum, tap, strum, Tap. It's just in between them. It kind of gives a little percussive sound to it, which is one of the best things about the ukulele. Even guitar, you can make it sound, you can just tap it and make it sound a lot fuller. So if I were to do it like that, let's just do um, the chorus starting on the G. So it would be like G, tap, G, tap. And you don't have to reach all the way up here. You can just do whatever you feel like. I kind of like do, muting the strings. My ring hits it sometimes. It's a little too loud. I'm going to do that. Okay, so starting with the chorus, doing a strum tap or a mute or whatever you feel like. One, two, ready, G. I felt, oh, sorry. Uh, I'd have to go a little bit slower. I, like this. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Okay, about like that. Ready, G. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire. always do strumming too. Killian and I were talking about the strumming. Um, just think of it down up. I'm just a little tiny bit of it I'm going to do um, I fell into. I'm just doing down up. I, sorry, I fell into a burning ring of fire. I'm just going up and down, down. So you can always do something like that if you want to, uh, to kind of spice it up a little bit. All right, so there we go. One new one, two more, two that we've reviewed from others. Any questions? Everybody good? All right, anybody who wants to sign off can. Um, Killian, if you do stick around, is Carter around? 